now we're going to talk about the test data set. So let's look at the data sets we have. We have training, we have validation, and then of course the validation data set is used to see how well after we train using the training data set, we generalize. The thing to keep in mind though is we may be training lots of different times. So we may choose a particular architecture, a particular set of hyperparameters, of which there are usually quite a few hyperparameters and quite a few choices for those hyperparameters. So we train, see how well we do on the validation data set. Try some different, see how we do on the validation set. Try some different, see what we do on the validation data set. Until eventually we get something that looks good on the validation data set. The problem is that tends to really be teaching to the test in the sense that we have chosen the best set of parameters that work well for the validation data set. We do not anymore know how well that our trained model is going to actually generalize, generalize out in the real world. Because of the fact that we've tried over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until we got just the set that happens to work for this validation. That's the set of parameters that happens to work for this validation data set. So that might be peculiar to the particular elements that are in this validation data set. Right? The other thing we may have done is we may have looked and see, well, which images, you know, which, which of our training examples in the validation data set fail? Oh, okay, we need to go do some fixing and trying to make sure that we can actually correctly get low loss on those. But we haven't done the same for everything else in the world. So here's what we do. We do our training. We see how well we do on the validation. We go ahead and go through this process of trying different and different and different and different and different. And then finally, we say, okay, we're going to do an evaluation on the test, also called holdback, data set. And this is a data set that we before we started all this, we took some sample data and we put it aside in a vault. And we said, we're not going to look at it. We're only going to look at it at the very, very end. So at the very end of everything, we've done all of our training. We like the validation loss we're getting. We're about done. We're ready to deploy the model or we're ready to publish our paper. We go ahead and run and see what sort of a loss we get here. And this is going to tell us truly the model that we ended up with, how well is it going to generalize? Because our validation loss is all of a sudden now going to be lower than it otherwise would be. Because again, we have trained to try and get it low. And so our hope is our holdback, our test loss, is going to be similar to our validation loss. We would hope it would be not very much higher. But this really tells us what to expect. And so if we went through and in some sense overfit to the validation set, right? Not by training and training and training and training a lots of epochs in a single model, but by training different parameters and different parameters and different parameters and different parameters till we found a nice set. So the whole bet set tells us that tells us how well we really generalize. So we get to the very end, we unlock our vault, we take out this test data set, we see what our loss is, and that tells us. And we never use it again. We just get to use it once. We don't get to do this a bunch of times and then go ahead and use this hold back and then say, ooh, this isn't as good as we wanted. We better go through and do this again and then test the holdback again. No, if you wanted to do that, you better have put aside two holdback data sets. Or I suppose you could always go and just commission more data, right? If you had a process that gave you labeled data, just go do more of that process to generate more data. But that is the use of the test data set. One confusing factor is some people call the test data set the validation data set. So the test and validation can be confusing. If you say hold back, that, that then that reduces any confusion. But the most common use of this uh, is as the word test data set.